Today we'll be unboxing the MacBook Pro 16 inch for 2019. This is the latest iteration of the larger of the MacBook Pros, which has superseded the previous 15 inch MacBook Pro. The packaging, as always, is high quality. Apple hasn't let us down again. The box is pretty thick, actually. Not sure why that is. Unwrapping is smooth. And one thing you'll find is that there's a cover inside uh, of the clamshell that protects the keyboard from the screen. So, as we open this up, we'll find that the MacBook, because I've done this 110 times, will actually boot up on opening. You'll be able to see the classic Apple white logo and the boot status bar so that's a pleasant surprise that the machine is charged and that it's waiting to be set up At this point, we'll go through several screens where you'll be prompted to enter various configuration information like your Wi-Fi password, your Wi-Fi network, of course, your language of choice, and keyboard settings. I've cut that out so that you don't have to look at it. But essentially, you're doing all the basic work that's necessary to get started using your computer. Next, there will be some data and privacy information that you'll be presented with. This is really more than anything a notification because you have no choice. The next thing you'll see of import is your iCloud setup screen. In this screen, you enter your Apple ID that you use with your iPhone into the computer. Uh, and also your Apple ID password. This will allow you to access various files in iCloud, your iPhotos, and strangely enough it will not associate you with uh, the Apple App Store. Now what you're seeing now is a two-factor authentication screen. If you have two-factor authentication uh, enabled, You'll get a notification on all your i devices. You'll be prompt. You'll be prompted to allow a new computer to log on to, with your network ID. You enter the one-time sign-in code, and you're off to the races. You'll have to agree to the terms and conditions because if you don't agree to the terms and conditions, you will not be able to use. Mac OS. Finally, we come to the login screen, uh, or rather the initial user configuration screen. Now, it'll always concatenate your first and last names, but I always cut it down to my first name because this that will also be the name of your home directory so that you don't have an ex extraordinarily long home directory name I would suggest you cut it down go in and change the default to your first name like Sue or Sam or John rather than John Smith and John Richardson or Sue Williamson 
you'll also be prompted to put in a new password for your new user which will be the first user that logs on to the computer uh, I strongly recommend that you enter a hint because that hint will be used to prompt you if you forget your password or if you enter your password incorrectly too many times it, that'll be how you get back into your computer so enter something that's memorable to you or something that's meaningful to you and keep going At this point, your iCloud login will begin. You will be authenticated to iCloud and your documents and iPhotos, or photos rather, will begin syncing with the PC. I'm sorry, with your Mac. That's sacrilegious. So you're pretty much done with this process. Once iCloud is complete, you will have a fully working Mac and it will land you on your new desktop. So that's all. I hope this has been somewhat helpful. Thanks.